Hey y'all, it's Anime Game Man. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 7th episode of Kimurikusa and I gotta say, this episode was by far one of the best Kimurikusa episodes by far. And let me explain how it succeeded in most departments. Now from a character standpoint, this episode had substantial character development for Reen. Because now at this point, it's explicit. She actually cares about Waka now when she says thank you, even though she kind of she kind of put the word kind in between that. You could, at the very least now, she's giving Wakaba credit, and then when she's actually blushing when talking to Wakaba, she doesn't say anything about poison or any of that kind of stuff like she did in the earlier episodes. So we're getting subtle character progression. The only thing left at this point is for Rin to pretty much say thank you without having kind in the middle of it. So, I love that. We're getting some character progression, and not just that, we have characterization because I like how her older sister actually revealed that Rin actually used to be like Wakaba, an individual that likes to playfully explore and all that. And so, every single time she went to travel, someone in, her, in their party died, and that's why Rin didn't have the exploration itch anymore. So, I kind of like that. It shows off that Rin was kind of like a... Wakaba to an extent. So I like how this episode gave us information without giving without needing an explicit flashback. Don't get me wrong, they could have a flashback later and it fit. But for now they gave us just enough to gleam off of um, her personality. And simultaneously it expanded Rain's character goals because she went from now just one plan to survive because originally she was even thinking about, in this situation, taking the water and leaving, but then they thought about it more and she was like, no, they gotta fight. So I kind of like that because now her new motivation as a character is to fight so that they can live a peaceful life because she saw everyone at ease and now that's her new goal, to keep that situation. So I also love that too. This episode was amazing for reading character development. You even had character development for Waka, but even though it wasn't as subtle because he immediately stepped in and used the Kimurikusa of defense to protect Rain from these uh, red red roots. So I also love that scene. You see Wakaba now become completely assertive with this with the faith in himself now. And then his usefulness when he was able to open these doors, thinking, applying the Kimurikusa principles. So I also like that too. It makes this episode just feel much, much more glorious to see Wakaba and Rin come all this way mentally to see them grow. To compare them how they were in episode 1 to now, they've made substantial character development. That's why I thought this episode was great. From the character standpoint, from the story standpoint, I like how it gave you like... It, you, it showed them happy for a bit and I was happy that they finally found a water source like a, like a river. And then it, when they discover it's in danger, it just hits you with like the dramatic OST and you see all these red bugs. And I like how the animators framed it from like a long bird distance shot when Wakaba and Ring go into this room with a lot of red bugs. And then at first they try to take care of it by themselves, but then they gotta retreat. And I like how in the next sequence they talk with the other sisters and the other sisters um, pretty much offer to help out Reen. And I love these sequences. They're just great. And it helps bring up dramatic tension for next week's episode. And because now they're in a situation where they got to fight of their own free will. And this is not a situation that's going to be easily resolved. And that's why I love the way this episode ended. Sets us up right for an epic battle next week. And that's all my right... Th oh. And before I give them all already now, I also got to give praise to the characters and story. Again, just made this episode way much more grander than I expected for a calm episode. Gotta give the writers praise. This is one of the best episodes of the series. The art animation were great, especially seeing like the water. It was beautiful too. And seeing the red bugs, they, they were well rendered. They didn't look awkward looking at all. It's showing off a great improvement from the first episode. And the voice acting was amazing, I gotta say. My goodness. And that's why I'm going to rate this episode a 9 out of fucking 10. Just thought it was phenomenal and I cannot wait for more. 
So anyways, guys and gals, these are my thoughts on episode 7. Comment on your thoughts on this episode, rate the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Subscribe for more. All right. Have a good and safe day, everyone. Bye-bye.